What is going on guys? Today we're back with another video. Today I'm obviously doing something more with my car. Gonna take uh, actually a very short time. So that's made me happy. I don't have to fucking sit here all day waiting for it to be done. I'm literally just installing some uh, wall spaces to it. Yeah, at the moment the uh, back of the car, it looks good, but it doesn't look wide enough. It kind of looks too skinny. So I bought some 20 millimeter wall spaces for the back. And then I'm still trying to find some 15 millimeters for the front. So I'm hoping these are gonna fit. I didn't actually check the, uh, the hub circle size. So I'm hoping these are gonna slot on perfectly but i don't know we'll just have to wait and see so let's get on with it first thing to obviously do is jack the bloody car up and this is always a pain i really need to put this somewhere else because of this bloody fat sub that's in the boot it makes it so awkward to get under there to get to the spacer do this I hear you are obviously you got your wheel off you got your spaces ready to stop it from corroding or whatever the word is it like sort of meshes together so it make it impossible for the spacer to actually come off and you don't want to be damaging it so I bought some of this multi-purpose grease I'm pretty sure it's copper grease anti-seize that's the word it stops this from seizing to this do you know what I mean so it can come off yeah so I'm not too sure how much I need let me just see if this actually fits. Yeah, there we go. That's on. Does it line up? There you go. Obviously making sure it lines up, so come in. It's 5x100 and 5 by 112 I think. Yeah, so obviously these are the ones that I need, whereas the other bigger ones are the ones for the other size. So just line it up until it matches like that. That fits. Brilliant. Now, you have your spacer. Here's the thing. Let me just pierce this. So you don't want loads, but you don't want too much. I'm pretty sure that's what the guy's already done here. So I'm just going to kind of do it like this and then try and spread it about a bit probably not the way to go you probably want a tissue but i'm outside now and i can't be asked to get tissue so this will have to do and then around the outside just a tiny bit to be honest it's probably better if you do this on your hubcap rather than on this i'm not actually sure why i'm doing it on this you probably should do it on your that's really windy you probably should do it on your hubcap probably very wrong but if you're a noob like me you obviously just want to do it the easiest way possible this is probably not it i don't know why i didn't get a tissue really need a tissue oh, i've got tissues in my car hold on just go around it like this that's actually not too bad i think that's all right that will probably do just wipe up obviously there's a fucking ton there if you don't want to do that someone's probably watching this right now and like thinking what the fuck is he doing i don't actually 100 percent know but i'm hoping that's okay like that is basically what you want to do that's disgusting right now back onto the wheel hub what i've also got with me bought this on ebay as well for i think a fiver and just make it line up make it it's easier to put the wheel on mainly for ones which don't have hub centric because i can imagine that being a lot harder it's ready for the wheel to go back on it's probably best just to wipe the remains of what you got on your tissue on here just to be safe there you go just a little, literally a tiny bit because i'm i'm gonna have my wheel off all the time so then you just gotta line it up pray to god that it fits because if the wheel hub doesn't fit on then you're fucked okay that's not even on oh yeah obviously no i'm fucking retarded your normal um bolts aren't gonna fit in i don't know why i even bothered to try that that's why there are new bolts longer bolts obviously i'm actually fucking thick Genuinely, it is a lot harder than it needs to be to put a bloody wheel on. Don't you? you get your longer bolts. 
So that's the only problem. Your locking wheel nut's going to be fucking useless. Because obviously it's not fit on. So anyway, let's just start tightening these ones up. Much nicer. Look how wide that is compared to this side. Get out of the way. But look, you can't even see the wheel sticking out there. It looks like it has a bit of camber, which I don't know if this is good or not, but you know, it's not low enough. <laughs> Doesn't look low enough. I've got to tighten these ones up and then do the same for the other side. So that's it with uh, both spacers on. You can actually see the wheel sticking out now. So much better than what it was. So that's how you put wheel spacers on. It's pretty simple, just takes a lot of time and effort. Well, not actually a lot of time. It's probably about a half an hour job, to be fair, if you know what you're doing, which I sort of did and sort of didn't.